Welcome back to My Hero Academia Anime Review Special Number 20. This one we're reviewing the 220th chapter of the manga, My Villain Academia. And yes, this whole chapter is focused on the League of Villains. Yep, first we see the return of Tadaroki. For the first time in a long time. I think last I saw he was back during the hideout raid arc. Actually, I think, uh, actually, scratch, I think last time was actually not that arc, but actually, this started the internship arc. But yeah, it's been a long time since we've last seen. Yep. And of course, him and the League of Villains break in some place. And the, and the guys there, like, hide your break in. And then of course, we have a guy who's a follower of Stain. Yeah. He basically beats the crap out of them. We see the return of that girl. I don't remember her name. She's the one who posed as that girl right here at License York. Yeah, this is her first appearance since... I would probably say since the Hero Licensing arc that she's actually shown up. And there she is right there. Mm-hmm. Yep, still dressed up like a schoolgirl. This actually really isn't. And of course, beating the crap. And, pretty, and they beat up... They pretty much kill this entire gang pretty easily. Yeah, and she complains when Neil broke. And Tadaroki takes off his one of his hands. As for where they got his hands, no idea. And he's like, how long are we going to live like this? So that's what the guy, the guy who's basically a follower, who's, who's a fan of Stain. We also had the Deadpool, the Deadpool Stain basically talking. And we see d for the first time since the Endeavor chap, since the Endeavor arc. Yes, apparently he's talking about burning people because he doesn't feel as though people will be worth joining this particular group. And apparently it's revealed that during the time skip, the the guy who apparently creates warp gates, he got captured. Somehow. Yeah, he got captured. Yeah, apparently he got captured a month prior. Yeah, that's the thing when it comes to the last, I'd say, three chapters. Like, starting with chapter 218, we have a time skip. As for how much time has passed by, I mean, I don't think it's been a month. Per se. I think it's been about two, maybe three months since the last arc. And... So apparently, during the time skip, this guy right here, this warp gate guy, he apparently was captured at some point. As for who the heck captured him, no idea, because the chapter doesn't reveal that. And of course we have, oh crap, I hate when this happens. Yes. And then we have the pretty girl trying out the, uh, one, one, of, one of the jewelry they captured. When you see Taroki, you see him a lot, Taroki, with one of, his, one of his hands on, because a lot of the time when you see him, he usually has his hand covered with his face up for some reason. Yeah, but there's a good reason why for that, because his eyes and mouth basically so look like they age 20 years. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the Warp Gate guy was actually responsible for creating the, the Nomu. And of course, the guy who was fan saying, I'm only here because I was inspired by Stain. They watch Stain's last name from the Hero Kill arc. So yeah, I thought it was Tadaroki, my mistake. So yeah. And then like they're like talking for a little while, and then of course we have this big beefy guy. No idea who he is. He says, So you are the successor for all for one. Is this a power? Kar Karuguri? I was like, what's the meaning of this? So this is part of Curry Sword Out. Yeah, this guy looks like an evil version of All Might. For our one successor, I would do everything. Well, successor, show me whether you are worthy or not. What? And of course, the guy gets sliced back to hand away. And he's his master why he's why he's weak. And then the chapter ends with him going nuts. And then some radio. Seems like your truck said a rookie. That's what the radio says. And he says, Doctor. Yeah, it's interesting this chapter. Yes, so. Apparently, we decided to have a break to color what the League of Villains are up to. Which, that's quite interesting. I love the name of this chapter, My Villain Academia. Appropriate title, because all we got is villains in this chapter, no heroes. Yeah, that's a bit of a surprise. 
Yeah, as apparently what the League of Villains has been up to, apparently they've been hiding this whole time, not doing a lot of big, noteworthy things, and then having the guy who was practically their transportation get captured, somehow, as for who captured him, doesn't say. Yeah, that's particularly very weird. I kind of wish they would explain, like, who the heck captured him? Was it Endeavor? Was it Hawks? Was it Mount Lady? Was anybody? No, they don't say who captured him. Yeah, it's particularly very weird. I would be very happy if if if, if it was Deku who captured him. He does he does have the legal authority to do that because he has he has a hero license. But in actuality, they don't say. I hope next chapter either shows his capture or at least bars to say who actually captured him. Cuz I'm curious. Cuz this is the first time this particular character is actually making a physical in his manga in, like, I'd say almost 100 chapters because it's been a long time because League of Films has done virtually almost nothing since the start of the internship arc. Yeah, that's the weird thing about these characters is that they were great for most of the series until after they wrapped up the Hero, the hero Raid arc. Yeah, after that arc wrapped up, they didn't do a lot of noteworthy things because it seemed like, it seemed like the writer of the series... What's his name here? I kind of forgot his name because it's been a while to look at it. The right of the series, which is Hiroshi Kenuki. I think that's the. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce this guy's name, but yeah. But I kind of wish he would do something with the League of Villains. I mean, good group of characters. Still an odd name, League of Villains. Yeah, it's a weird name, but I kind of wish they would do something more with these characters, but I appreciate a whole chapter dedicated to them. That's quite nice. But can we also see what Deku's up to? Because we haven't seen Deku do much of anything except pop up for a quick cameo two chapters back. I'd be happy if, well, if we pick up right where that chapter left off. But it's nice. We have to have a little break to see what the villains are up to. That was quite nice of the writer to do. But I don't think anybody asked for it. But it's quite nice because, well, like I said, haven't seen these characters in a long time. Though, with the exception of D-Bai, a lot of these characters have not been seen since the start of the internship arc. Yeah, d has not been seen since the Endeavor arc, which is not that far back. I mean, yeah, it's great to see the guy. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I know that, well, One Piece did something recently with the review arc. Yes, I kind of wish we had something focused on Deku, because it would be nice if somehow that maybe like after the 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 joint training exercise arc that maybe him and Otaku may become a couple. It's a possibility, but right now we're just getting very little what's explained. I mean, the only thing explained so far it's happened since the time skip. Is that apparently it's now winter, but that's what I think it's explains what happened. Is that the warp gate guy got captured? That's it. Yeah, I don't think it's been that particularly very long per se. No. If I I would point out like how much time has passed for between the events of chapter two seventeen to eighteen. My personal theory, I don't think it's one month. No, because I highlight that because they they didn't have the, this guy captured at the end of that particular chapter. If I would say how much time has passed by, I would say it's probably, and this is my personal theory, I'd say two, maybe three months since the end of since the end of chapter 217. But they haven't said yet because now it's winter. Because most of the time when you've seen a series, it's always been just like summertime in a ways. Yeah, I'd say yeah, that's probably that's probably at least two or three months. Because it didn't seem like that much time. It was, it was like a short time skip. So roughly about two or three months, which is not that long of a time skip. Yeah, though it's nothing uncommon for manga to have time skips. I mean, the the series that had a bunch of time skips was Dragon Ball. They had close to about seven time skips over the course of, like in the actual manga, it was over the course of about 500 and I think it was like 86 chapters in the anime, I think it was like a lot more. Like a heck of a lot more. 
time skips in that one because well it was split to two to two two different series. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah. So that's it for this particular view. I have no idea what's planned for today. As for tomorrow, I have two definitely planned for tomorrow, and that's our view of newest episode dub release release, release dub episode of Fairy Tale and the newest episode for Black Clover Long's New Chapter of the Manga. Basically two videos tomorrow. Maybe three if I can finish up Case Closed, Season 13. Okay? So, until you see the next video, bye.